Okay, good morning everyone. So today I'm going to be presenting uh, Dorado Base Caller, uh, and I'm gonna be giving a bit more of a detailed technical dive into what we've done um, and announcing a new release. So a natural question to ask is, why do we need a, a new Base Caller? We've got the Guppy Base Caller and Bonito Base Caller. So I imagine some people are thinking, or another one? <coughs> well, the truth is that base calling has advanced substantially in the last few years. So the accuracy requirements that we've set ourselves have increased dramatically, and the throughput from our sequencing machines has too. So Dorado uses several modern design choices to overcome a lot of challenges that we face. And writing a base caller is, is quite complicated. It's very complicated um, designing these base calling models, but also the technical requirements of dealing with something like a P48 or P24 sequencer are quite challenging. Uh, streaming data is hard, so Promethean can generate around one gigabyte a second of data. Uh, Alex kind of touched upon that in his previous um, presentation. And yeah, we've got to do a lot of stuff. So if you, the sequencer produces data, the data has to be scaled, it needs to be chunked, uh, it goes through a machine learning algorithm, decoder, and if any one of these items, any one of these boxes here is slow, then the entire pipeline is, is affected by that. So it's a very challenging problem. Plus, base callers need to run on um, different, you know, different host systems, x86, gaming GPUs, um, network drives, and a lot of this stuff is out of our control. So it's very challenging to design this kind of software, which is why, um, which is why we came up with a new base caller, Dorado, that leverages all the learnings we've made over the last few years. We've got four principal design goals, ease of use, Commands should be simple and intuitive. High speed, this is critical. Um, on our target hardware, we need to write low level optimizations to make sure Dorado is extremely fast. Automatic hardware configuration, this is kind of related. What this means is that when you run Dorado on target hardware, you shouldn't need to configure it. So it's kind of related to the two points, to other, the other two points. It should just be fast off the bat. And rapid iteration, so this is a very critical point for us, which. Um, and essentially what, what this means is that when a, a feature is developed in research, we want to be able to put it into your hands really fast. We don't want to be hanging around, um, taking a long time to develop that feature because that's, that's kind of wasted time. We don't like it and you, you certainly don't like it. So f going forward with Dorado, we're going to be releasing very often. We've done four releases in the last four months and we're going to be uh, releasing early um, on GitHub. In order to achieve these design goals, we've made some design choices. So first of which, most, uh, most noteworthy, I suppose, is we're using LibTorch. So this is Meta's um, C++ API into the Torch linear algebra and deep learning library. And it's really a fantastic uh, library. If you're doing any kind of low level uh, linear algebra, it's great, but it, it's really good at the high level stuff too. So I highly recommend it if, if you have that kind of requirement. C++ 17, it's a full featured and high performance language. Open source, we made the commitment that we would open source our base crawler, which is quite a, um, quite a surprising thing if, if, if you think about it, but, and that's because we care about community scrutiny and we also want contributions from the community. Um, lightweight dependencies, we want this to be easy to compile, easy to install. Pod five, um, read and write performance is crucial to Dorado performance. All the stuff I'm gonna talk about today is underpinned by having a fast IO system provided by pod five. And CUDA and Metal, so these are low-level GPU programming languages, which are absolutely crucial to achieving the maximum performance on the, sil on the silicon that we target. So I gave a presentation at London Calling six months ago, and I had a big list of things. I announced Dorado was in, in preview mode, and I had a big list of things that we were gonna do. And I'm pleased to, pleased to say we've done most of them. So we've got RNA models in Dorado. We've got duplex support, and Catherine's going to be, my, my colleague Catherine Lawrence is going to be talking in more detail about that. Remora is now supported. We've got mod base calling in, in, in Dorado, and it's very fast. Multi-GPU, that's done as well. I'll be talking about that later. M1 optimization, so running on Apple Silicon. This is performing really nicely now. NVIDIA Ampero op optimization, so you can run on the latest NVIDIA hardware and expect very good performance. There's a few things we haven't done, so sequencing summary files. We've kind of got mixed feelings about this one. I know customers like using it, but we feel that the SAM format now contains all the information that would be provided in a sequencing summary file, so we're kind of minded, minded to drop sequencing summary. If anyone feels strongly about that, now is a good time to let us know because you've got time to intercept that decision. Uh, Minnow integration, we've got that working internally, uh, but not currently released, and barcoding is still, uh, still on a roadmap. So with that, I'd like to announce that Dorado is now out of preview. So 
We've re today, we've released version 0.1.0, and for offline base calling, Dorado is now our official recommendation. If you're doing offline base calling, that is to say, you've taken your data off the device and you're sequencing it, say, uh, on an, in your HPC center, we believe Dorado is what you should be using. It's more stable and faster than Guppy. Modified base calling in particular is substantially faster, and we're releasing also a new suite of models, the V4 models, which um, you'll be hearing more about later today. Uh, we've got support for a new duplex method, it's called Stereo Duplex, and Minto Minnow integration is working in-house, and we expect to release it in, in, in a relatively short time frame. If you want to try Dorado, you can find it on GitHub, nanoportech slash Dorado slash releases. So base caller performance is advancing very quickly. Performance engineers at Oxford Nanopore don't tend to think in terms of bases per second, or, ba or you know, um, in, we don't tend to think in terms of nucleotides. We tend to think in terms of samples per second. So we take the sampling rate, but it's a relatively easy conversion to go from sampling rate to bases per second. You just essentially at 400 BPS and a four kilohertz sampling rate, you just have to multiply by 10 or divide by 10, which way you're going. Um, so to give you some idea of performance numbers that you might, that you can sort of relate to your practical experience of Dorado, a hack, hack base calling can be expected to keep up with a P24 at 100 gigabases per flow cell over 72 hours. And it will mostly keep up with a P24 at 200 gigabases of output over 72 hours. I'm talking here about using a compute tower with four A100 devices. So that's the A A100 tower that we ship with these devices. The fast model um, r sh r runs with uh, P24 and P48 keeps up regardless of um, total output, and a sub, keep, sub model keeps up with 32% of P24 at 100 gigabases of total output. So you know, these numbers um, should give you a general idea of, based on the sequencing you're, d you're doing, uh, if you've got an A100 tower, what kind of performance you can expect. Okay, so we've done a lot of work to get this kind of performance. It isn't easy. Uh, we've done major improvements to speed over Guppy over the last few months. Um, mod base calling, we are particularly proud of because it introduces only a very minor hit, hit to performance. We've been working very closely with NVIDIA to optimize performance. So um, in particular, two engineers at NVIDIA, Lotfi Slim and Maxim Milakov, have been helping us a lot to really squeeze out that extra little bit of performance. Each of these bars, the red bar here, is on, on a different GPU, different model, and this guppy, and this is samples per second. So this is our speed. Bigger is better in this case. So every, every Dorado release, we've seen performance upgrades. More speed is coming. We're not done yet. We're not happy yet. So we want to leverage things like integer um, computation on NVIDIA GPUs, where that is where you take the internal representation of the neural network and map it to a lower precision. We think we can get much faster speed with that. So we're going to be continuously delivering um, on a very fast scale, be continuously delivering faster base calling in Dorado. Multi-GPU performance is linear, so this has taken quite a lot of effort to get us to this point. Uh, but al as Alex said, um, we've measured Dorado with a system with eight A100 GPUs running at one billion samples per second. This is an extremely high level of performance that we're very proud of, and it's actually limited by the file system, which is quite kind of remarkable if you think about it. The, the base calling is actually limited by your ability to take data off the disk. Apple M1 and M2 silicon. So we've done a, a bunch of work in metal low-level um, GPU programming la language for Apple devices. And we've internally been testing uh, base calling on, an, uh, on iPad devices. So the iPad, uh, the M2 iPad in particular, has a really nice GPU. And we're, getting, we're observing like, really nice speed when base calling with this device. Uh, the iPad, um, iPad version itself is currently not available, but Dorado is available for running on Macs, and we encourage you to try it. This component is still should be considered in beta mode, but we do welcome feedback. So yeah, as I said, version 0.1.0 is now our official recommendation for offline base calling. If you're doing offline base calling, this is what you should use. Uh, it supports Mac, Linux, and Windows. M1 devices, um, the neural network is, and decoding run, is all running on Apple GPU, running natively on Apple GPU. We support NVIDIA GPUs, uh, Volta onwards. So if you're running on a Volta Plus device, we will support you, even if it's a gaming GPU or something like that. You should use it in particular for simplex-based calling, duplex-based calling, and mod-based calling. And 
in the near term future, the plan is for Dorado to replace Guppy on device. That's the place we're heading. We want to bring you these this rapid iteration cycle, these this like fast speed with live base calling. And so in the next uh, in the next few months, you can expect Dorado to be part of Minnow. Cool. That brings me to the end of my presentation.